Hi everybody! I'm back. I'm Teacher, Teacher Cheska here and we shall continue for the afternoon session of the Science 9 Module 1 um, activity. So, first of all, we're gonna read the le lesson number 3, Breathing Mechanisms in Humans. Okay, so you have to read this, read what's in. So basically, our last activity showed the different parts and functions of the respiratory system. So this time, we will focus on the mechanism and activities of the lungs and the diaphragm. So you read this, and then you go to your answer sheets. We will start with the first activity. It's entitled the Oxygen Treasure Map. So on the Oxygen Treasure Map, you have to write down the words to complete the path. Okay? So you are given a list of words. So mao ni siya. Dili ni siya sunod sunod. Ikaw ang mag sunod sunod. The correct in correct order. So, imo siyang i-butang din eh. So, kung ang hangin na asa gawa sa lawas, pag sulod sa lawas, on sa man. Asa man na siya una mo sulod? Diri ba sa bronchioles? Sa larynx? Sa pharynx? Sa trachea? Sa nasal activity? Or alveoli? So, pili ka. Kung na ang hangin sa gawas, ipasulod nato siya sa imong lungs, asa man siya mo agi. Okay, so you write it down, so you put it in proper order. Yes, copy and answer ni siya. Okay, yan naman siya boxes. So, very Sige lang, cute. Now, then we go and study the diagram on page. Okay, so you read this one, read all of this. Read what's new, what happens when you inhale and you exhale. And then, um, we will skip this part. You can just go through that. You're not going to answer that. Let us go directly to what I have learned. Okay. Alright. Hold on. So here, you will just look at the diagram here. Before the big balloon is pulled and after the big balloon is pulled. So basically, this represents our lungs, right? So those are the other parts of the respiratory system. So this is the human breathing mechanism model. So I think when you were in grade 4, you've already done this, no? So, familiar na taani. Anyway, so that's a diagram that you have to look. So, let's continue. Here, it says, you can watch a video on the mechanics of respiration. So, let's try to watch that as well. Okay, so let's watch this short video on the mechanics of respiration. The primary muscle of respiration is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a thin, dome-shaped layer of muscle and tendon that separates the abdominal cavity from the chest cavity. It gains its shape from its attachments and from the organs that surround it, especially the heart, lungs, and liver. The diaphragm attaches at the costals along the lower rib cage, high in the front at the sternum, and deeply in the back along the spine. The diaphragm also attaches to itself via a central tendon, making the diaphragm one of the unique muscles of the body. The diaphragm uses its central tendon and its attachments as leverage to flatten during inhalation. The expansion of the ribs comes from the resistance of the internal organs to downward movement. As the internal organs are slow to move, the ribs expand to make room for the lungs. While the diaphragm attaches at the bottom of the ribs, its range of motion never reaches that low in the body. As seen from below, we get a sense of the full range of motion of the diaphragm as it would glide over the aorta, the vena cava, the esophagus, and the internal organs. For more information, visit www.3dyoga.com.
Facebook.com. Okay, so that's basically all about the diaphragm. So the video, pakita na to, ano kung mag simuta o hangin or maghingata, dako, tapat na dako ang atong lungs, no? Dako ang imong chest. And then, pag mo exhale na dayon ta, mugamay na dayon siya. Or mukanaog. So, it's all because of your diaphragm. So, gipakita dito, gi unsa sa diaphragm ang tabang, no? Sa atong pag breathe. Alright. So, let's go next. Okay. We will now go to so we skip this one and let's go to what I have learned. Okay, the movement of your chest makes your lungs expand and contract. So that's what happens. When you inhale, your chest expands and when you exhale, your chest contracts. Your chest size changes when you breathe because of the actions of your rib muscles and the diaphragm muscles. Study the diagram below and answer the following questions that follow. So, just look at these figures or these images and then answer. Okay. So, in your answer sheet, isulat ang what I have learned and then ang title for this. Okay. Just indicate there um, what I have learned under lesson 3. Okay? So, mulang isulat. What I have learned, lesson 3. And then you answer here. So, here you can copy and answer. Hani lang mo i copy and answer. Hani din. Okay? Now, so let's now go to activity. So after you answered what I have learned, you will go to activity number five. So this, what I can do. So you have to do this. Alright, so write down activity number five, just one breath. Your objectives for this activity is to describe what happens to your breathing rate after doing exercise. Explain why this happens. Your materials, a stopwatch or a timer, and your notebook or record book. So think of this. What changes take place when you, while you exercise? Write it down in your notebook. So you have to do this and then... When you follow doing all of this information here, you record your observation on the table below. So, copy and answer. So, again, for activity number 5, just one breath. You do all of this, make sure you have all your materials. And then, you do this. Sit quietly, lingkod lang, 30 seconds. Count your rest breathing rate sitting position for one minute so do jumping jacks for 30 seconds immediately after the jumping jacks count your breathing rate for one minute and record your observation breathing rate is the number of breaths inhale and exhale per minute okay so kung maglingkod lang ka for 30 seconds Kapila ka mag inhale and exhale per in isa ka minuto. Okay? So, one minute ni mo siyang i-count. And then, the same thing kung mag-ambak-ambak ka for 30 seconds. Pagka umali mag-ambak, di mo sa i-count. Pila ka buk, i mong inhale o exhale sa, sa loob ng one minute. Alright? And then, after doing this, so you record that. Sulat din ha. Pumpila. And then, answer the guided questions. Okay. You can answer directly. Or if you want, you can copy and answer in your 
answer sheets. Okay? So that's it for lesson 3. I'll be right back for lesson 4. Bye!